Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. Ever wonder why your speed ramping doesn't look as smooth or as seamless as some of the bigger YouTubers, people like Sam Colder, Daniel Schiffer, or Peter Lindgren? Well, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. It never will if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me say that again. It never will if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro. For starters, guys like Daniel Schiffer and Peter Lindgren are using Final Cut Pro, which just handles speed ramping so much better. And secondly, you might be using Premiere Pro yourself, which just isn't as good as Adobe After Effects when it comes to speed ramping or time remapping. So if you're a Windows user like I am, stop using Premiere Pro and start using After Effects. Do this and you'll see a huge difference in the quality of your speed ramps, I guarantee it. And to clarify, speed ramping in After Effects is actually called time remapping, but I think most of us are more familiar with the term speed ramping, so I'm gonna continue to call it that throughout this video. So let's jump right into the tutorial. Now, I've already got a video clip on my timeline and I brought this clip into After Effects using Premiere Pro's dynamic linking. But you can bring this clip into After Effects however you'd like. Once you have the clip on your timeline, you want to right click on the video, go to Time, and enable Time Remapping. Or Control Alt T is a shortcut if you're a Windows user. Now, because I brought the clip in using dynamic linking, I want to create two keyframes one at the beginning of the video clip and one at the end of the video clip. Once this is done, simply move in a few seconds within the timeline and create another keyframe. Go a few seconds toward the end and create another keyframe. Then just select the two endpoint keyframes and drag them closer together. Your video will now play at normal speed through the first section, speed up faster between the two center keyframes and then slow down again, moving into the last keyframe. Something like this. Now, here's where things get interesting. You have something called Graph Editor in After Effects. Just select one of your keyframes in your timeline first. So After Effects knows what you're gra using the Graph Editor for. Just click the Graph Editor icon here. Within Graph Editor, you have a few options or views to choose from. You can look at the speed graph, the value graph, or the reference graph to get a better idea of what's going on within your timeline. And you can hit the plus or the minus sign to zoom in or zoom out of this particular graph or any of the graphs. Now, to smooth this out even further, you'll wanna select this keyframe here, right click and select keyframe assistant, then easy ease out. Then on the other keyframe, right click, select keyframe assistant and easy ease in. When we're in the value graphs view, you'll want to grab the two middle keyframes and just smooth them out. You want to give yourself a nice looking S type curve. Again, play around with these graphs and you'll get a better idea of how they're impacting your actual footage. The more you play around with the graphs, the more comfortable you're gonna be with them. And it's really just the only way to learn this stuff is get in there and start playing around with it. And this is what our video looks like now. Now, one more feature that we can add to make things look even better is called CC Force Motion Blur. We just wanna create a, an adjustment layer and drop that effect onto that. And we just wanna drop the adjustment layer over the portion of the video which we've sped up. And just like that, we have a really nice looking speed ramp. With dynamic linking between After Effects and Premiere Pro, I'll simply finish up my edit in Premiere by adding a little music, throw in some whoosh sound effects, and we got ourselves a really nice looking video. Now, there are a bunch of other videos out there 
going into more detail on speed ramping with After Effects, but the main takeaway here is stop using Premiere Pro and start using After Effects for your speed ramping. Again, After Effects just gives you much more customization and your videos will just look so much cleaner. Just a quick and easy way to create speed ramping within After Effects. I hope you found this helpful and After Effects is definitely the way to go for speed ramping. It's gonna be my new go-to instead of Premiere Pro. I can do another speed ramping video on how to transition between two separate clips if that's something that you're interested in. Just let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell if you've gotten any value out of this video. It's always appreciated. And until next time, take care and we'll see you in the next video.